Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading guys. We're gonna find out a little bit about what's going on with you this time. So um, I actually have some pre-drawn cards already laid out. I've not seen them yet. We're gonna find out like your current energy, the energy coming in, what you need to focus on, your main challenge, overall advice, stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna ask the Holy Spirit come through. I wish to channel messages of love and light for the Gemini Collective. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There's no time on this one. There's no time. Time's an illusion. If you find it, it's great. If it's yours, take it. All right? Let's see. What do we have going on? What is your main current energy right now, Gemini? Queen of Pentacles, awareness, and fear. Now, this is the magician. Fear. Fear. Magician, Queen of Pentacles. So right now, there is something regarding work or money that does kind of have you a little bit concerned. I feel you trying to like get over that though and stay in the positive mindset. You can only be so positive. You know what I mean? Like you could try. I feel like, I feel like sometimes um, going into the fear itself is probably the best uh, choice of action here. But yeah, it's like something that was once stable. It's kind of looking like on faulty ground. It's a little bit shaky. And your energy is like, I don't know if I can really manifest this. Is there like a new, a second wind coming into this? If it's a project, I feel like you have great intentions. If it's work, I'm almost hearing you say like, I don't know if it can be salvaged. Yeah, it's definitely work. It's definitely work or money. I feel right now like your mind is definitely focused, laser focused on money. But sometimes I feel you're battling with yourself in uh, choosing fear, choosing love. It's kind of like a battle. There's, there's two energies here. What are the outside energies impacting you at this time that maybe you need to be made aware of? Whoa. Whoa. We have peace. I am testing, I am, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. We have the high priestess, intuition, and we have the emperor. Again, I was getting something about fear contrasted with peace. Fear, then peace. Fear, then peace. Fear, then peace. That is progress. And I am so proud of you for making that progress. I feel like you need to give yourself some credit. Right now, this too, uh, the, um, the intuition card is telling me this is your higher self versus your ego. Higher self versus ego, higher self versus ego, higher self versus ego, and you got the peace and fear, peace and fear. So I feel like right now you're just, you, you kind of feel like wishy-washy, like why is it not working? Well, it's not working because you're kind of stuck between two realities. These are outside influences as well. Why is this the outside influence here, Spirit? Why is this outside interference? Four of Swords. Yeah, that's the card of peace right there. Wow. Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius as well, or an Aries. Um, I'm getting Aries heavy here, actually. The outside influence looks like somebody is trying to get you to help, like get you to help yourself, but it's coming across a little pushy, I feel, with the Emperor. It's like these, I like these energies together, the peace, the intuition, and the Four of Swords. This is very calm, very calm, but then there's this I'm almost feeling somebody say like, oh, you can only do what you can do, but I think they're actually more of a nuisance <laughs> than anything. This outside, um, it could be a boss, definitely, with the emperor. It's somebody who has like a level of authority, but it, it's, it's, you know what it's kind of screaming to me? It's like that person that tells you, just calm down, take a breath, chill out. But all the while, just hearing them say chillax makes you want to just rip your hair out. That's what I'm getting here. The outside inner, <laughs> listen, this person, they're coming across as cool, calm, collected. Literally, cool, 
calm, collected, right? But really, there might be more to this. There might be more to the emperor here than meets the eye. There might be someone else interfering with your energy levels, okay? This whole like wishy-washy back and forth thing, it's got an outside interf interference to it, okay? What's your main challenge at this time? Adversity. Stand your ground and the queen of wands, my God. Your main challenge is finding the confidence to fend off this energy. You can feel it, it's an emperor. This person's overwhelming you with like, hey, do it like I do it. The adversity card for me is like, this is how you feel. You're almost like, you're being challenged with, how do you just say no? Right now, Gemini, I would say your biggest challenge is to find this fire and passion within you to do to get shit done without without even acknowledging this adversity that somebody else is sending in. I am getting with the Aries card. Definitely could be an Aries, but th this is a leader, a boss, uh, uh, maybe a coworker, somebody who's kind of like authoritative. You know, I don't like it because the deck I chose for this one, it almost looks like he's surrendering or she, you know, like, oh, I'm just so peaceful. I'm just so calm. But like, that's not what I'm getting. Okay. Your main challenge is seeing this adversity as like, I don't know, a gift. I don't know how you're supposed to see it like that. Tell me why the Queen of Wands is here. This is you getting your um, fire back, okay? Your, your dream is going to be made reality. If you can really see this as, a, um, I don't know, fuel, fuel for your fire. Speaking of fire, Knight of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy, Sagittarius, heavy, there it is. It's like you using this, tempering it. This person is, is like really, they're trying to look like all pious or something. Like I'm getting a holier than thou vibe here. This person external of you, I'm getting like, oh, I'm just so calm. I'm, I'm fine. Like I love life. Life is great. But like, mm, how are they really, spirit? How are they really, this emperor? You can't make it up. You literally cannot make it up. Oh my God. I knew there was something in it. I feel like Gemini right now, like you guys don't realize consciously how toxic this person is. This is like a fake it till you make it kind of energy or like a, like I'm gonna be fake happy. And if, if you're a cross watcher watching, like I, I'm not apologizing for this. This is like a fake happy. If the shoe fits, wear it. Um, this is a very controlling person, but they look on the surface like they're not controlling at all. They're, they almost look on the surface like, oh no, I'm going with the flow. The universe brings things in, the universe takes things out. You should do the same, Gemini. That's what I'm getting here. They're like almost bossing you, telling you to be more calm, but I don't think you're listening. It's not great advice coming from the devil, okay? It's not, it's not, I'm sorry. So the irony here is they're telling you to get calm when you're actually the one that is very much tempered, very graceful, very forgiving and kind here. Um, we have what you should be focusing on right now. Let's see, focus primarily on this. Eight of pentacles, work, I told you, work, fertility and humor. Okay, so I am really getting that if you do focus on work, try to remember uh, what, it, what it's like to feel happy and joyful at your job. What was it like the last time you, got, you said a joke in the lunchroom? You know, everybody was laughing. Everybody was like, oh my God, they spit out their milk through their nose because they thought it was hilarious. I feel like you really need to reminisce in that because this person... They're impacting you a lot more than you think. This could be a boss at work. You know it's toxic. I know it's toxic. That's all that really needs to be addressed here is what I'm getting, Gemini. I don't feel you guys are really needing to focus on this energy. In fact, the more you focus on it, the more this person takes your fertility, your growth, expansion. Not literal fertility, although maybe, who knows. Uh, we have humor here. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So in order to get this project growing, in order to be better at work, and I feel like that's very much where you're focused, 
You really need to have your nose to the grindstone. And I feel like the happier you are in just doing your job, like how can you make it more fun? How can you make your job more fun? How can you bring in an element of surprise at work? How can you make it an enjoyable place? I almost feel you need to bypass this other outside interference. You need to bypass this person by, yeah, kind of ignoring them, but at least acknowledge to yourself that this is happening. Acknowledgement is like half the battle, okay? Ignoring them is the second half. We have energy coming in soon to help you, Gemini. Nine of Swords, Strength card, and Service. I feel good when I can help others. I actually think that the energy coming in, people are going to see you bypass this devil energy with the Emperor, the, whoever this is. The energy coming in is people are actually going to ask for your help. We have the Nine of Swords here, meaning this like restlessness that you have, this like overthinking in your mind. Soon you're about to bypass that. And when you do, I actually feel people are going to see you in a position of power and they're going to want to come to you for help. So I'm getting service here, which again, you won't need to take on everybody's work. You don't need to do that. But people are coming in to almost, in a way with the Empress and the Emperor, I feel like you're the Empress with the fertility card here, right? So I almost feel in a way, the energies coming in, they're going to be solidifying that you have figured out a secret. They're going to come in, these people. I feel these are ener several energies. Um, they're actually coming to you saying, yeah, this power and control tactic, whoever this emperor is, um, we see it too. I actually feel the energy coming in to help you is validation that you're not crazy. And um, it, it might be starting with me right now and telling you that this person is really causing a lot of trouble. But people are coming in. And so if this is work, which I highly suspect, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, People are coming in to say, no, it is a power play. They were doing this intentionally to try to trip you up and we're glad to see it didn't work. So whoever these people are coming in to help you, they are trying to convince you that you actually have more power than you think. You are the one kind of the driver in the driver's seat. This person is trying to convince you that you're not calm. When really, Everybody sees you're calmer than they are. Everybody sees it. I feel like I need to tell you this. Let me get one more card. Why? Eight of cups, eight, uh, ace of swords. There's like a graduation here. In the way you get clarity about this, it's like you, you're leaving this situation behind. And then as soon as you do, everybody comes in saying, no, the emperor, yeah, the emperor, they were, they were doing that to me too. Or they were like bullying me too, or they did this too. But it's like, it's almost like you needed to validate yourself first before these people come in like, oh yeah, no, delivering truth. Like I walked away too. I noticed it too. Yeah. No, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. So right now, Gemini, it's like you are first acknowledging your fear of manifesting more abundance. And the reason that is, is I think you think it'll trigger this outside person, this outside interference with the queen of pentacles. And the, this could be your boss. It could be somebody that works with you. Acknowledging first that you are in fear of manifesting more abundance because of this person. You're like afraid that they're going to trip you up. But it's, it's, it's kind of ironic because the more you do succeed... The more you actually get this invisible, invisible support of people saying, oh yeah, no, like I moved on too. Oh yeah, no, they were a jerk. I, I feel like people are coming in soon to tell you like, oh my God, I can't, they did that to you too. It's the same thing. I just, I feel like I need to tell you it is the same thing and you're going to find people like say for instance, you didn't, you, you're missing a paycheck. Okay. It's like by you finally saying, you know what? I'm gonna let the universe take care of it. They're gonna handle it. And you still focus on you and you focus on your next week's paycheck. I feel like what's happening is you're going to be met with people who are like, oh my God, did you, they, they screwed yours up too. That's what I'm getting. All right, overall advice for you. Oh my God. I am surprised by how many eights we have. I'm just gonna show you this. We have eight, strength card, eight of cups. We have the magician. 
All right, I'm, I'm naturally getting magician vibes here. We have eight of cups again, different deck, eight of wands and trust. Please trust. This is spirit overall advice. Please trust that you're being led to somewhere better. Please trust it. Eight of cups, you're walking away. There's two eights. It's like you are extremely powerful and abundant. However, not around this one. You can't be. You can't be. It's almost like this person, it's like a punishment. It says, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. We have accelerated motion, eight of wands and eight of cups. Please trust that the universe is taking you where you need to be. There, this is the card of bypass for me. Eight of wands, they're bypassing this negative toxic energy. It's like, if you will just go with the flow, let them have, let the universe have some control over this situation, okay? There's something about, and I want to get one more card to confirm where this subconscious blockage is because it has everything to do with this emperor. Your fear of doing better has everything to do with this person. It's like maybe if you went for a promotion, you'd have to go to them. Or maybe if you acquired a new income or something, they'd be angry at you for doing better while we have Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's something about a brand new start that you have with your magic wand as a magician. You could totally make it happen, but it's not coming through right. I think this, this person thinks that when you do better, it's like showing off. It's not. I'm here to tell you it is not. It is definitely not. I'm getting the ace of wands and then the devil has an ace of wand in his hands. It's, this, this person has one going down while yours is going up. It's like you are inspired by source and this person is deranged by control. I think that's the difference here. Them seeing you go up and up and up will really, really trigger this person, okay? It will. Six of Pentacles. Why is that here? Six of Cups and the Eight of Wands. I feel like Spirit's got you in a safe cocoon, a safe bubble, Gemini, okay, with these two sixes here. I feel like you're actually very safe and there's a lot more protection than you think and I think people are gonna be giving to you soon. Very heartfelt messages. I'm totally getting work vibes, I really am. But I'm getting heartfelt messages from like people who have been watching you secretly and like, oh my God, I've been rooting for you. I've been rooting you. I've been cheering you on, Gemini. Could be family, totally could be. Could be a whole bunch of things. With the Six of Cups, this could be a, a family dynamic as well. But what I'm feeling is your success is limited right now. I'm hearing spirits say like, please, please give us time. We understand that you're in a bind and we're really trying hard to pull you out of this, but you're gonna really need to trust. You're gonna need to go with the flow. It's not gonna be overnight, but if you can ride the wave that God brought you in on, it'll be a lot less suffering, okay? They understand the control dynamic here and it's not good. So I love you. I'm leaving it there. If you guys want to personal with me, all the information's in the description. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.